You have several ways of creating new projects in Saffron Project. You can import projects from different sources or create a new project from scratch. First I'm going to show you how to create a new project from the beginning. Within the File tab, click the new icon in the ribbon. The wizard will open and give you three options. Creating a new project, a new project group, or a project from a template. In Saffron Project you can save your projects as templates, so you can use them later within your organization. For creating new projects, use the Details tab to enter project record data. Here you can set up your system with default sets for all your projects in your organization. In the tabs, you can customize your project or you can go for the default sets in the system and just press finish. So now you have created a new project. Here you see the next generation of Saffron Project. It's called Saffron Project 7. It has a more modern look than Saffron Project 5 with ribbon menus that makes it easier to navigate. It's a faster application, much faster than Project 5. It has many new features. Most of them has come from improvement requests that we have received from our customers. But the software is the same. Bar chart editor, reports and basic functionality are the same or improved compared to Project 5. But before we dive into the new features of Saffron Project 7, let's begin by showing some of the changes in the interface. In the upper part of the screen is the ribbon. The ribbon is divided into multiple tabs. Those tabs are generally organized into particular tasks. In other words, they are grouped into the work you might perform. As you see, each tab is divided into sections. For instance, the project tab is divided into schedule, risk, resource, and so on. Above the ribbon, we find a quick access menu which provides access to the commonly used commands like save, open, and preview. You can actually customize that toolbar too. At the right above the ribbon, we also find the help button, which will open a help file. As you can see, the overall layout of Saffron Project 7 is much easier than previous versions. If you use some minutes to take a look of the overall organization of the interface, you will be able to work much more efficiently. In the bar chart editor workspace, you have a ribbon bar, you have a quick access menu, we have the table area, and the Gantt area. And we have five different information panes. The information panes allows you to view, enter and update detailed activity information, link information, you have a resource pane with graphical display. You can define a histogram where you can create reports and you have a schedule analysis pane. If you update information in the information area, it will automatically synchronize with the activity you have selected in the bar chart. The bar chart editor combines a spreadsheet-like column area with a graphical Gantt area. Saffron Project lets you add, insert and delete activities in the column area or draw new activities in the graphical bar area. When you add an activity using the add insert function, Saffron will automatically generate the bar in the Gantt area of your bar chart. You can also add and insert hammocks. The hammock will be inserted with a default duration of zero time units. Its duration will be automatically computed when you add predecessors for the hammock activities. Saffron Project's easy click and drag method gives the planner a visual approach to scheduling. People work better visually and this feature allows planners to sketch out a schedule in seconds. To create an activity using the click and drag technique, just move to the mouse pointer to an empty row in the bar area, place the pointer on the start date, click and drag. You 
You can then adjust the activity by dragging the activity back and forth, or stretching the end date or the start date. The Activity Information pane is a tab-separated window that allows you to view, add and modify an activity's information. If you updated information in the information area, it automatically synchronizes with the activity you have selected in the bar chart. The sequence in which activities should be carried out is represented by relationships or links. In Saffron Project, we use the term links for logic. And a link can either be a predecessor or a successor. Saffron Project has four types of links. We have the start to start, start to finish, finish to start, and finish to finish. Together with the relationship type, you can also add delays, calendars, and split target. If you double click on a on one of the predecessors or successor links, a go to operation is performed and you can navigate back and forth in your schedule to monitor the logic in your schedule. Saffron Project offers several different ways of adding, editing and deleting activity resources. But the easiest way is to use the resource view in the bar chart area. Here you can right click Choose New Resource, then you specify the required resource, and you add quantities to the Planned Quantities column. You can assign one or several resources to an activity. Saffron also lets you import resources from a file. Saffron provides you with a flexible and configurable histogram in the lower pane. Using the histogram view, you can customize and prepare striking presentational graphs. Here you can display an interactive graphical view of periodic and cumulative data. It's a powerful reporting tool that generates reports that can be included in report packages for use in weekly reporting. The Schedule Risk pane brings Schedule Risk Analysis and Monte Carlo Simulation to the planning tool. The pane is divided into two sections. At the left, an input form for three-point estimating and output simulation data. And the right, Saffron displays visual graphics such as distribution histograms and tornado charts. The Activity Information pane is a tab-separated window that allows you to view, add, and modify an activity's information. If you updated information in the information area, it automatically synchronizes with the activity you have selected in the bar chart. The sequence in which activities should be carried out is represented by relationships or links. In Saffron Project, we use the term links for logic. And a link can either be a predecessor or a successor. Saffron Project has four types of links. We have the start to start, start to finish, finish to start, and finish to finish. Together with the relationship type, you can also add delays, calendars, and split target. If you double click on a on one of the predecessors or successor links, a go to operation is performed and you can navigate back and forth in your schedule to monitor the logic in your schedule. Saffron Project offers several different ways for adding, editing and deleting activity resources. But the easiest way is to use the resource view in the bar chart area. Here you can right click Choose new resource, specify 
the type of resource. Enter the quantity of resource required in the planned quantity column. You can assign one or several resources to an activity. Safran also lets you import your resources from a file. Safran provides you with a flexible and configurable histogram in the lower pane. Using the histogram view, you can customize and prepare striking presentational graphs. Here you can display an interactive graphical view of periodic and cumulative data. It's a powerful reporting tool that generates reports that can be included in report packages for use in weekly reporting. The Schedule Risk pane brings Schedule Risk Analysis and Monte Carlo Simulation to the planning tool. The pane is divided into two sections. At the left, an input form for three-point estimating and output simulation data. And the right, Safran displays visual graphics such as distribution histograms and tornado charts. 